Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I wanted to do a video I've done every single year for at least five years now. I'm gonna do my Christmas wish list, what I want for Christmas, slash my Black Friday wish list. I am one of those people that people hate gifting to because I buy everything I want. So this is just for inspiration or if you know someone like that has my same style or personality, then to get some inspo, everything will be linked down below that I can find. And and then I should have Black Friday content coming very, very soon when Amazon has some amazing, amazing Black Friday sales. So stay tuned for that. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Check out my gift guides if you haven't already. I'll link all my Christmas decor below as well. Let's get into it. So at the top of my list is this eyeshadow palette. I have his matte palette and this one just looks so pretty. This weekend at the Amazon event, I saw a girl wearing like the prettiest glittery eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow and I was like, what is that? And she said it was the um, makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. It conveniently sold out on his website as he was doing the 25% off. So now it's only available at Sephora. So it sucks, but I really want it. Another thing that is extremely popular and I really want something like it is the base weekend bag in beige. I want the full size in beige and then the mini one in pink. You may be thinking, Philo, why would you need two bags? They're different sizes in my defense and also like for different things. Like for a shorter weekend trip, I can take the smaller one in pink because it's so cute. And for like a longer trip, I can take the regular one. So those are pretty pricey, but I've heard amazing things. On that note, I have a lot of luggage sets on my Amazon shop that I've been eyeing. Either that or the base ones. I've heard nothing but great things. They seem very, very sturdy. I love a pink suitcase, like look at that. But for the price of one base luggage, I could get three in Amazon so and they look just as good my husband already talked me out of these but I love them so much it is these they're called Killim Dockings from Etsy. They're made out of Turkish rugs and they are unique, like no two alike. They are about $48 depending on which one. And I have two that are more neutral for our stockings. And then I found a pink one for my office. Y'all, I think they're so cute. Someone tell me how, like, how are these ugly? I think they're so cute. He hated them. He's like, feel those look dirty. <laughs> But I love them. I think they look really cool. So I don't know. I might treat myself to those. It says they're 70% off. I don't know if that's like fake. You know how like some stores just bring up the price just to bring it back down. Um, also from Etsy, I have this really cute embroidered ultrasound. Um, if I would have seen that when I was pregnant or last year, I would have definitely gotten it for myself. But I saw it like mid-July on TikTok. And I was like, I'll save it for Black Friday. And now Black Friday is here <laughs> almost. And I still haven't gotten it. So I thought that was like a cute thing for me to ask for Christmas too. They're not super expensive and it's so meaningful to have. Obviously with Olivia's, not anyone else. I have the platform Uggs that look like this. I didn't see them until today and I think they are so much cuter than any of the other ones. Um, I'm wearing these dupes from Amazon right now. They're just so comfy, but I love a platform. I'm 4'11". I need it. And I have the slippers in like the platform version as well. Um, speaking of things I don't need, <laughs> I have the Hoka's in white. I really don't need these and honestly, I'm gonna get like two people in my life Hoka, so technically I shouldn't get these for myself at all plus i never go on sale so it's kind of pointless but i use my hokas every single day i have two pairs and i rotate them so they don't wear i love getting glassware for christmas or just in general so on my list like for my family to gift to me i have these rib coop glasses from cb2 i've been wanting some like these for a while they're not too expensive so i thought it would be like a good gift for them to get me because they're not that expensive these are some cowgirl cowboy boot um once again when i see something throughout the year i always add it to my notes app and this is one of those things i've been thinking about it a lot i think they're so pretty the color is so so pretty the suede is so nice i just keep thinking about them so i really want them i have four of these cocktail glasses from west elm that i really like i have this book from anthropology this set from sephora i've always wanted to try dr jart like the sika 
Sika Repair? Sika Pair? I don't know. It's meant for redness and I do have a lot of redness on my skin. I have a lot of things from Show Me Your Moo Moo and maybe, I don't know, um, last night I ordered some already. And I'm incredibly embarrassed because it was a lot of money for three pieces of clothing. But this dress, y'all, this dress did it for me. It's so pretty. It's so flattering. First I got it from Revolve and then I just went ahead and got it on Show me your Moo for a discounted price. It's just stunning. Um, if you're looking for a really pretty emerald green dress, this is it. I also saw this and I love it. As you can see, I mean, kind of because I have my Christmas stuff. But I really like funky decor for my office. I think it's really cool. And it's like the only place in my house where I really allow myself to like just bring random stuff in. So I saw these on Urban Outfitters today. They are margarita and martini glasses that are like disco bald. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, but I thought either it's so expensive, like definitely no one buy me this, but I thought I could DIY it. So that's why I have it here. And then I have another one of the free people hotshot onesies. They're so comfy. I have the beige, so I thought I would add it just in case anyone was lucky ideas. These three things have been on my wish list probably since the summer, maybe April and they are unrealistic as unrealistic as it gets but you know maybe they'll go on sale i don't know so they're all appliances <laughs> that we don't need we have a beverage center that is stunning and i really want it for my office ask me if i know where to put it no a whopping two thousand dollars definitely not getting that the next thing is something that like in the future i'm going to treat myself to like if i get a promotion if i like reach a goal or as a push present in the future. It is this double oven electric induction convention range. I don't know, it has a long name, okay? Tell me that's not the most stunning oven you've ever seen. And a double oven sounds like heaven to me. I don't know why. Stunning, um, $4,000, definitely not getting that. And next up is the fridge, all from the same collection. At this point, I just want all of them to match, so that's why, but... Uh, it's just so pretty and I really don't need it. Even though our Samsung fridge kind of sucks. So eventually, maybe I'll need it. I don't know. I love these though. And I guess since we're talking about unrealistic things, I kind of want a new camera. <laughs> I say that in every single current, or current wish list. In every single Christmas wish list video, I've gotten, when did I get this camera? It's the Canon G7X. I got it like two years ago maybe and it's good don't get me wrong i just feel like the audio and the quality could be much better especially when it comes to autofocus um when i'm trying to film things especially for my gift guides i really struggle to get it to focus on the thing that i'm clicking this is like a youtuber problem like i know no one else cares but i saw rachel Racky um post this camera and i was like oh my god it's only a hundred dollars wrong the very outdated version was a hundred dollars the actual version that she has is about a thousand dollars no and then some things that i already picked up are these tie bags from anthropology i already got all my anthropology stuff i truly couldn't wait um i knew my family members weren't gonna buy this stuff on sale like with enough time because they wait until the last minute for christmas gifts love y'all um so i ended up buying them myself i don't care <laughs> i got the tie bags i got the pet bowls i got some ornaments i got dish towels anthropology is doing 30 percent off last year this time last year i got my beautiful seven foot tall mirror from anthropology so now's the time to do it if you need a sign to treat yourself i am it I am it always um, and then I have some stuff for Olivia just to finish up this little wish list I don't want anyone to buy Olivia anything ever I feel like she has all the things she will ever need and if not we're lucky enough to be able to buy it for her but you know people of course want to get her stuff so I decided to do a little list she doesn't really need toys but I have some dolls I have a bowling set she loves playing with you know her soccer ball so I thought she would like the bowling set I have the Stanley Cup 20 ounce. She loves drinking out of mine. So a matching show me your Mumu dress. That is so cute. I have a little Mardi Gras romper. I've been eyeing this for months now. And it's not like super expensive or anything. So I thought it would be like a good gift. And then we have these plates. You might be thinking, Philo, wasn't her birthday like, I don't know, three months ago? Yes. 
but I saw this idea on TikTok and I think it would be the perfect Christmas gift. Mom, dad, if you're listening, please just hear me out. Simon, send this to my mom. Okay, so you get them a, not a Christmas plate, a birthday plate and they use it every year until they move out and until whatever, you know? And it's to serve them breakfast on their birthday and you can like serve them the cake on that plate and it's so cute so these are pretty expensive i'm not gonna lie to you you can customize them or get them customized so the happy birthday ellison one that one is not expensive but the other the other ones are i just want one i just can't decide on the style so you customize them to say her name i really love this one with the cake the balloons and the animals i think that's so olivia but I don't know and then we have a mystery box you get three dresses and that's only 50 bucks i've done it before it's such a good deal you get like different bubbles and dresses for a holiday and they're so cute and then i found these bows that i died like they're so freaking cute olivia has no hair i mean she has hair but not enough for this so i still want them again like if anyone's listening that you know, I'd rather y'all get this for Olivia than anything for me. Yeah, feel. Katia, yeah, feel. So, yeah, we have the pearl one that is stunning. Um, we have this hand embroider one that is really cute. The nutcracker, y'all. I'm obsessed. Um, and the little up house. I can't. I can't. So, we have that. Those are all the things on my wish list. Not asking for it. Just, I know some people just like to gift 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 i don't know so i thought i would do a list just in case did we miss the unhingedness i feel like after the second clip i just started talking exponentially faster but it is what it is let me tell you all something since we're here this year not only flew by but november hit me like a truck what is going on how is it almost thanksgiving how is it almost black friday how have i only posted two gift guides sos SOS. I'm really trying my best. Um, I was out of town last week, so I kind of threw a nice wrench into the content for this week, but stick with me. You may get it, you may not. You may get it like this, a little bit unhinged, a little bit crazy. Who knows? Um, but hopefully this video was something. I want to say good, but something. Um, I like watching them because I find so much inspo, like to add to my own list for things that I want to buy in the future and honestly I know I say this like every year I really go very crazy this time of year when it comes to spending but then I don't really spend money well that's a lie that's such a lie y'all y'all know how much money I spend you you subscribe to my channel um I don't spend as much I guess I don't you know send it so fast the rest of the year so <laughs> that's that's how i'm justifying this but i will tell you on my instagram if i see any worthy black friday sales i feel like i know by now what's a good sale and what's just like they raise a price and it's just not good you know so i'm always looking out for y'all don't worry because i'm also having that problem <laughs> anyway that's enough of me for today i will talk to you guys tomorrow with hopefully my amazon gifts under 35 dollars and then we'll see what we do about black friday follow me on instagram that's that's the moral of this video i love you guys i'll talk to you guys very soon